Alright guys, getting started with today's look, I'm going to be taking this shade right here from the Morphe 35O palette. I'm going to be using this shade as my transition. As you can see from the look, it is a super blown out smoky eye with no wing liner, but the eyeshadows are all super blown out. So I'm going to use this as my first transition shade and really just blend out this product all over my um, outer V and my crease area. This is really going to help to make everything look nice and gradient once you start adding other colors. So I'm just building up this color. Um, and building up the intensity so everything can look nicely blended. And sorry if I <laughs> sound a little sick, it's because I am, but we're just gonna pretend like I don't sound like I'm dying and we're gonna move on. So as you can see here, um, the less product that I get on my brush after blending it out, I'm gonna start dragging it towards my inner corner and um, just really have that smoky and super blended. So now taking this more of like a brick red color, I'm going to apply this on the outer V and start keeping these shadows lower to the crease, but still kind of um, blowing them out and sort of tapering it at the end towards my brow. Um, usually I don't let the eyeshadow past my brow, but for this look I really wanted it to be super blown out. So um, I'm making sure that I'm bringing all the shadows out towards the end of my brow. And then here I'm taking a clean blending brush just to blend those two colors together so nothing looks muddy. Now taking this like warm chocolate brown shade, I'm going to apply this on the outer corner and lightly blend it. Um, I'm going to be going in again with the Morphe 35O palette. I'm taking two different shades here to blend it out. I'm taking first that brick red shade and then the shade right next to it very lightly and very light pressure on the um, on the brush just to blend that color up slightly not to um, bring it up too high but you still want to have it uh, nice and gradient with the other colors so here I'm just blending it out as a whole so now I'm going to be going in with the lightest shade in the palette just to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to pack this on pretty heavy and then just blend it out so there's no harsh lines now going in with the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia, I'm taking the color Red Ochre and I'm going to apply this in between the brown and those transition shades. Again, just to make sure everything is nicely blended, you don't want any harsh lines. Since this is going to be a super blown out smoky eye, all the harsh lines will be easier to notice. So you really want to make sure you take your time um, with each transition shade. Now I'm taking the color Burnt Orange and I'm going to use this to blend out um, the upper part of all those eyeshadows and I'm also bringing the shadow up towards my eyebrow. Um, I really wanted this to be super blown out not only on the outer corner but the inner corner too. Now I'm taking the Darkest Brown in the Morphe 35O palette. I'm going to apply that color right on the outer V so we can kind of elongate the eye make it look a little bit more smoky. Now taking Red Ochre and Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to use that to lightly blend out that brown shadow just so everything looks nice and gradient. Going back in with that um, warm brown shade, I'm going to use this just to um, add a little bit more darkness going towards my inner corner. I'm first going to blend it mostly on my outer V and then once I have less product on the brush, I'll go ahead and drag it inwards. Now taking this lemon shade, this is um, from Cryolon. Um, I'm using this because I really wanted to have a pop of color, um, but still like summery and spring-like. So I reached for this yellow shade and I loved how it came out. It's not like a super vibrant, um, super vibrant yellow, but it still gives you that really pretty yellow that I was wanting. And then I'm just um, blending that out. So I didn't want to do a winged eyeliner today, I just wanted to do like a smoky lash line. So here I'm taking the Giordana um, black liner and I'm um, tugging on the outside of my outer corner just to make sure I get in between all those little spaces on my lash line. And once I do so, I'll go in with a smudger brush and blend that out with a little bit of black and then a little bit of brown. So the black that I'm using is from Urban Decay, it's the shade Blackout, but for this you could use whatever brown, um, I'm sorry, whatever black eyeshadow you have or whatever dark brown eyeshadow you have too. The brown shadow that I'm using to blend out the black shadow is that dark brown that we just applied on the outer V. And I'm doing 
tapping motions and tweeping motions just so um, I can bring the color up a little bit so the eyelashes have something to blend into. And then I'm slightly uh, elongating it on the outer V to kind of create a wing but with eyeshadow but just to tie in um, the darkness from the lash line connecting it to the outer V. And then I'm coating my eyelashes with mascara I'm using the Maybelline Big Colossal or the Colossal Big Shot. There you go. <laughs> Here I'm just cleaning up my eyeshadow. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is optional but I wanted my eyeshadow to still be sharp um, but not too sharp so I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of concealer and then start to um, wipe it off and then I'll blend out the eyeshadow um, with my finger. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to add an eye primer and set that like I would on my um, on my lid. And then I'm taking the same exact color that I used um, on my crease on my lower lash line and just really smoking this out. Um, I wanted this lower lash line to be really smoky, so I'm taking my time with each individual color. I'm taking all those same brown shades from both the Modern Renaissance palette and the Morphe palette and just making sure it looks super smoky and then adding a little bit of black just to blend it in to the outer V. Um, on the upper lash line, we kind of want it to match the bottom. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to be taking um, by Becca Cosmetics their highlight called Opal. I love it for inner corner highlight, so I'm just going to apply this with a little brush and then use my finger to blend it out. And since my lashes are pretty dramatic, I'm going to go heavy with my coats of mascara. Um, this is totally optional for you, but um, I definitely wanted to have the same fullness on the top and on the bottom. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I sound so sick, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll check you guys out in my next one. Bye, guys.